Good news, everyone. Got my ring back. It's sized. So it's not going to fall off <laughs> when I'm dancing or doing the chop at FSU games or generally talking with my hands. Still there. Woo! <laughs> I taught my morning pure bar classes. I'm gonna go grab some lunch and get ready for the lunchtime pure bar class. All right, pure bar, we out. We're heading home. It's nice to be done kind of with work at 1.30, even though now I just wanna go home and take a nap. But I shouldn't do that. I need to film my Ask Lindsay and edit it and go to dinner with my family and probably honestly clean my house. So let's go try and accomplish those things first. I am not working at Pink and Navy today, but I decided to come out here real quick. A, I have to grab my check for my first week of work, which is exciting, and go put it in the bank. But B, I have a little surprise for everyone. I wasn't exactly fully forthcoming with the 100% number one reason why I wanted to work in Pink and Navy. Obviously, I'm excited. I told you guys, it, it, I mean, she has the cutest stuff. It's a lot to do with my boutique. It'll be really awesome. But there's another reason why I wanna work there and it involves another employee who just recently started working here too. So we're gonna go see her real quick. So here's my surprise. Hi. Gabby's at Pink and Navy too! I thought today was Sunday, but I just didn't. Well, you have to work clothes on Sunday, so that'd That's be great. bad. Have Sunday off. <laughs> have Sunday it's off. Wonderful. I was like, wow, I'm in a really good mood for working on Sunday. And then I was like, oh, it's Saturday. It's Saturday, you have tomorrow yeah. off, guaranteed. Yeah. So it won't be a beach day, though. Oh, I know. That's why I was like, I'll go out and see Gabby, and then I'll go to the beach. And it's like raining and like mm. 57 degrees outside. Mm. I was like, it's good for snugs. Guess not. Yeah. Go home, snugs the meese. But I'm really happy you're here. It makes me so That's happy. Yeah, having some gabs in my life. You know, we don't work together too often, but hey, I, know. I can come visit you. Yeah, that's the thing. I know where you are. I know your schedule. <laughs> you're here. I know when you're here. <laughs> and I can show up and be like, hey. I have hello. donuts. <laughs> here Sorry, it is. I ate your donuts. Yeah. That's okay. We'll go get donuts together one okay, day. Sounds good. Yeah. That's All right. So that's my surprise. Gabby's here. Yay! I feel like I've been hiding this super special surprise for so long and now we see Gabby and I'm like, yay! Oh, it just makes me so happy. It makes my heart happy to be able to see her a little bit no more. And at least like, like I know where she is. I can go find her and go get lunch with her or go on a run after work or something like that. So it's bringing me a lot of joy to have the Gabs in my life. All right, we're gonna go get some Papos for lunch real quick and then head home and I need to film and edit my Ask Lindsay. That has to happen today. I'm back working at Pink and Navy and I'm really excited because I've decided today I'm gonna buy myself a new Swell bottle because I need a big one. I have a medium sized one, it only holds 17 ounces, but I need a big one because I need to drink more water and that's one of my New Year's resolutions. So I feel like if I get a bottle, then I'll be more likely to do that, which is, you know, a good way to talk myself into doing it. So here are the three colors that I want. Let's see if you guys can help me decide what color. I put it on Snapchat too. So do I want this like periwinkle blue purpley color, which I like a lot, or do I want this hot pink one, which I feel like looks the most like me, honestly. Or there's this wood grain one, which is pretty cool. And then last but not least, this gray one, which is just kind of neutral and good for every day. Which one should I get? Or see if you can guess, because I'm getting one today. See if you can guess, because I can't wait. I'm getting it today. Is it bad if I eat Papo's every day if it's like a salad bowl? I feel like it's good for me, so I'm just gonna get sick of it really fast, probably. But I'm gonna sit here, work really hard, and drink more water. <laughs> I decided on a bottle. Ta-da, hot pink, yeah, yeah. This just gives me life. So I'm gonna go home, wash it out, and start drinking so much water. I'm gonna be so hydrated. You guys aren't even gonna recognize me. 
I mean, you probably will because I'm gonna look exactly the same, but just so much water. <laughs> I feel like New Year's resolutions are kind of silly, except that when you set your mind to doing something, it's a really good thing to do. Maybe not working out. I feel like working out is a hard thing to do in January because it's cold and it's probably like one of the times where your body the least wants to like get outside and go out of your house and do stuff. So I feel like working out challenges are better for like springtime when it starts to get a little warmer out and you really wanna go outside and you really wanna leave your house and go do things. But other motivational things like getting organized or things you do inside your house like drinking water, great time. January feels like a really hard time to lose weight, personal opinion. <laughs> A, I'm not wearing any bathing suits in January. Even in Florida, it's too cold. It's like 52 degrees outside right now. So I'm not wearing a bathing suit, which, and I don't have football games, so there's like no reason to have a six pack. It's just donuts galore. Except tomorrow I have to be on ESPN. So I haven't been having donuts galore. I'm gonna have them afterwards though. Once this ESPN thing's done, I'm gonna have a donut. <laughs> I'm probably gonna bring Gabby one on Thursday and be like, donuts for friends. It's donuts for friends day, which we should all start. That should be a national holiday. I feel like I've discussed with you guys cheerleader time before, but this is a perfect example. Cheerleader time is like this ridiculous amount of extra time that you give yourself as a cheerleader to arrive in time for an event. It's more than being on time. It's more than being 15 minutes early. So today, when I got up to come to the first take filming, which is on ESPN, it's a big deal, and it's at the convention center in Tampa. We have to be here at nine. So it just like, I'm already trying to get there early, trying to make sure I'm on time. I have accidentally arrived an hour and a half early for call time. I have blown cheerleader time out of the water today. I have super overdone it. But I'm here now and I'm gonna like call everyone I know and tell them hi and finish getting, put on my lipstick. I've overdone it, guys. I found Chloe and Gabby. Good morning. And we are full ready, I got my lips on. I'm ready to roll, my jacket, the correct outfit. And we're ready to go. Cheer, we're going in to do first take, which Chloe said is controversial. <laughs> it almost got canceled, but I mean, it's not controversial. There's just, they debate a lot, which happens. In They're gonna, I'm gonna step in and say, I have an opinion and, I'm, <laughs> and then I'm never gonna be allowed to come back to anything having to do with the Bucks again. Excuse me. So I like, like wave a pom pom. Excuse that. me, I have an opinion. That'd be hilarious. I do have an opinion. NFL's, last, NFL cheerleader steps in with her opinion about the yeah, national championship game. Yeah, last night, game. Steve Spurrier got booed, and it kind of upset me. I don't like, like I mean, Steve I don't either, but he was get, he was inducted into the Oh, that's sad. That's kind of a bummer. And he was, like, booed, and I'm like, imagine that big of a moment in your life, and then everyone's like, boo! <laughs> I think he's probably used to it at this probably point. He winked. He was like, hey. They were just mad. Clemson's mad because he beat them like five times in a row. That's like when, so. uh, during the game, the last game of the season, and Cam Newton was like walking like right by me, and somebody's <laughs> like, Cam, you're a piece of crap. And he turned around and he was like, thanks. That's the kicker too. Everybody was like getting into it with the kicker, and I'm like, all right, can we all just be friends? Can we be friends? Cam, you're a piece of crap. I just found a gift card to Starbucks. Oh. And it has a cat that looks like I just mine. found some Starbucks. Cool. Y'all ready to roll? All right, let's go do this. Yeah. We got out of first take, and Julie and I grabbed a little bit of lunch together yeah. because we had a chance. My fellow <laughs> engaged person. Oh, let's get across the street. But yeah, it's really fun. What? How crazy was that? We met Tim Tebow. We met Les Miles. We saw the whole first take thing go down. We were on TV. It was yeah. live. I didn't realize it was going to be live. Live. When they said shooting spots for it, I was like, oh, we're gonna shoot something and they're gonna like do buck stuff someday down the line. But yeah. nope, today, oops, sorry. <laughs> today you're going on TV. Sorry, Jimmy John's guy. <laughs> but yeah, so we were on TV. Check it out, it's on my Twitter. So much fun, it was just cold. It was It was cold today. Very cold. Very cold. So many bikers. There's so many Jimmy John's bikers right now delivering. <laughs> Hundreds of sandwiches. I feel like All right. Well, I'm going home. I love you. Have fun at work. Thanks. It's great seeing you. Love you. See you in a few weeks Yeah, or so weeks. Yeah, well, we no. have that party a week 
We have a party in a week. So weird, I miss seeing you. I can't walk on the grate in my heels. There we go. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm gonna, gonna kill go Julia through. by accident. <laughs> yeah, we have Bye. a party next week, but that's it. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right, we are home and getting ready to go to sleep, but we wanted to check in. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and I wanted to do my first wedding Wednesday, but I'm really thinking about it, and I just, there, I have no updates from the Ask Lindsay. We still haven't really done anything, so I think I'm gonna hold off and do wedding Wednesday next week. So this will be. I mean, just a regular old Wednesday because I don't have any wedding stuff to talk about other than I still love my ring. It's pretty, it fits now. And my fiance is pretty cool. And my dog's awesome. Yep, that's you. That's you, pup. My 10 year old dog. And I'm almost a 31 year old person. How crazy is that? Right, niece? Birthdays forever, birthday months. So with that, I think we're gonna head to bed. There's a random clip at the end, Divergence on TV, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch that, which is not out of the ordinary for me, and I will see you guys for a new video tomorrow. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye for real, love you. Yeah. Don't fall in the grave.